So, John, why is the secrets of successful inventors so important to entrepreneurs to achieve greater success? Well, the secret to successful inventors is a step-by-step -step process so an inventor knows what to do and when to do it. For instance, the first four chapters cover five things all successful inventors do before they spend much time or any money developing their idea, and the remainders of the chapter is a step-by-step -step guide so you attract the capital and resources you need to to become successful in less time with less wasted money. Great, okay. So, just for the record, can you just define what the secrets of successful inventors is? Yes, the secret of successful inventors is a how-to book. It's a guide so you know what to do, when to do it, and the, 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 it's really simple. Most people don't know what they don't know. Actually, all people don't know what they don't know. So, what I do is take the guesswork out so you're sequenced. So, what you're doing next is the most important thing you're doing next. Uh, to help build you and and your team because there's no such thing as a self-made millionaire or billionaire. They've all had team to get there and you will too, uh, an inventor will too. Or so how do your reads typically get started with the secrets of successful inventors on a step-by-step -step basis? Uh, that's simple. Uh, I call each chapter action steps. So you read chapter one and you complete the action it, it says. For example, I have you writing down every feature and benefit of the product. And then I have you coming back and writing just benefits. Because most inventors and entrepreneurs fall in love with their product and their gadgets and they lose focus on the benefit to the end user. So it, uh, so they, when they complete chapter one, they do what it says. When they uh, complete chapter two, do, do what it says, and so on and so forth. And they build momentum quickly, so they can achieve greater success in less time, and less wasted money. That's a big point. Less wasted money. So let's say one of the viewers got started with the secrets of successful inventors today. What would their life, say, look like in 30 or 90 days from now? In 30 days, they would have already worked on their self enough to where and have their languaging compelling so when they're talking about their product to potential teammates or investors or even by the time they get to their patent attorney, they're, they're stating in such a manner that they're going to get the best of everything. They're going to attack attract the capital and resources they need, the team they need to be successful. successful. That's what, that's in 30 days they're going to start that. By 90 days they would have already added a teammate or two and from that point that, that's where you start sequencing and every product is different. So that's why you need seasoned teammate around you, teammates around you so you start moving forward in a sequenced manner. and be efficient and effective in what you're doing. Great. What about the, a little further out, say like three years from now, if they went through the book and they followed the steps? Well, in three years they would already be on the market. They would have wow. a, a seasoned team around them. They would be, if they were not profitable yet, because a lot of inventions aren't, even if they're on the market yet, they will be able to actively and, and convey or know their product will become profitable. Okay. What are some of the, say, specific roadblocks that this book will help them tackle? The biggest roadblock is, that helps people tackle is the fact they have to do it all on their own. That's the number one downfall of inventors and entrepreneurs, is they think they always have to do it on their own, which is a myth. There's no such thing as a self-made millionaire or billionaire. So because it's walked them through so many things, their language is right, they have a business plan, they understand their target market, they have numbers for it, they know their competition, they're able to attract other people because they'll, they, they see, oh, this person's serious, hey, yeah, he doesn't know everything and he knows he doesn't know everything, good, we can work with him. Because if you get around a seasoned person, 
and think you know everything, like I messed up a few times myself, uh, that turns them off. <laughs> they, they like to, that the fact that you don't know everything because there's no one does. Mm -hmm. And when you try to act like you do, that is not good for, <laughs> for you and your success of your product. Okay, so this is going great. What are some of the specific strategies? They're like keys to unlock roadblock doors to achieve great success. The specific strategies is to get first and foremost, to get your languaging right. Because the only thing that stands between you and everything you desire is your language. It has to be clear, concise, powerful, and quick. If it is not, you do not attract the team resources and capital required to become successful in less time with less wasted capital. So the strategy has them build in their language and language is more than just your words too. It's your body posture, it's how you walk in the room, it's the eye contact. There's a lot more to language than just the words. Actually that's 7% of it. So I developed the whole person, their language, their pitch. I give them the tools and resources so they have a pitch so that way they attract their teammates because again like I said earlier there's no such thing as a self-made millionaire or billionaire and you're not going to be the one that breaks that mold so <laughs> if you uh, become humble realize you don't know what you don't know start preparing yourself right and you start building your business and you will attract, attract the team and resources required to become successful. Okay, great. So what would be the first physical step you'd want a viewer to take to get started with the Secret Successful Inventor? Well, the first physical step I would like you to take is to buy a book, better yet, buy two, one for that inventor friend of yours. Because if you really care about them and want them to be successful, they need to know what to do and when to do it. And since they do not know what they do not know, it's important that they have tools and guidelines. Every successful CEO, every successful athlete has a coach and mentor. Successful inventors are no different. So to get them the book, apply the book, build your team, and become successful in less time with less wasted money.